God says, Next Saturday will be a very important day of your life because one of your biggest moments is approaching. The universe message that you are receiving is one of opportunity and transformation. Embrace this day with open arms and a heart full of faith, for it will hold the key to unlocking new beginnings and life-changing experiences. Listen closely to the signs around you as they will guide you towards your destiny. Let go of any doubts or fears and trust in the divine plan laid out for you. Remember you are never alone on this journey as the universe is conspiring in your favor. Prepare yourself for this upcoming Saturday as it holds the promise of great blessings and revelations that will shape the course of your future. Trust in God's timing and believe in the endless possibilities that lie ahead. Watch this video without skipping a single second and I will make secret prayer for you at the end. No one enjoys the feeling of being rejected. It's painful and frustrating. When God closes a door, we become frustrated that things didn't go the way we would like. Don't try to outthink God. He does things differently and it's always what's best for us. Tough times build endurance. In frustration you gain a fresh understanding of how God works. If you never experience rejections, you won't appreciate when God opens a suitable door for you. I know how it feels to see something you've really prayed and waited for a long time gone in a split second. But remember God has a better plan, way better than our plans. If what you thought was good, isn't really good enough, can you imagine how amazing God has preparing for you in his mind? I know your works. Behold, I have set before you an open door which no one is able to shut. I know that you have but little power and yet you have kept my word and have not denied my name. Revelation 3 verse 8 ESV Don't be upset when it seems like God isn't present in the moments when you need him most, he's actually doing his best work for you behind the scenes. God's got a better yes for you. He will open door that is for you. Just wait and have faith. Blessings are not forced. If they are meant for you, they will come naturally. Let God's promises strengthen you as you wait. He alone can give you assurance and the peace you need like this video if you believe God. Your battle belongs to the Lord. Don't fight your battles alone. Retreat. Run back to God. It doesn't mean you lack faith. It means you need him more than the battles that weren't yours to fight in the first place. You need rest. You need peace. You need his presence. Fight through worship. Fight through praise. Fight through hallelujah. With God on your side, there's nothing you can't overcome. Victory comes easier when we invite God to fight alongside us. He will secure your victory even before you realize it. Rest. He remains in control. We often try to handle everything on our own, relying on our limited strength and eventually we burn out. Trusting God means allowing space for him to act, move and intervene. We can't do everything but we can trust God in everything. If you've already shed your tears, it's time to rest and leave it all in God's hands. Let him take over. You've done your part. You've prayed, you've cried, now it's time to step back and watch God do his work. If you've already waited, stop wearing yourself down. Be still and trust in God's character as you wait. Believe that even in your waiting, he is working. Walk in faith, not fear today. Don't stress over things that God has already taken care of. You've done your best, now let it rest in his hands. He's got you. Type, yes, if you agree. 
Sometimes God asks us to obey first before we understand that's called faith. It's not faith if you already see it. It's not faith if you already know everything. You don't have to feel it to believe it. There's a reason why God is molding us, and soon you'll understand why he had to make you wait. He has his reasons trust him. God's best is absolutely worth the wait. Your part is to trust him even when it doesn't make sense, even when the chapter is not lining up with his promises. Even when it hurts the most, trust him and believe. Type 222, if you feel this. One thing I am certain about God is that, he will never take something away from you without the intention of replacing it with something much better. That's what he does. Maybe you are feeling frustrated right now, you may have lost your job, whatever it is, know that he will never leave you empty. He will replace everything you lost and open the right doors for you at the right time. Yes, things can be very painful, difficult and uncertain right now. It takes tremendous faith to say, God has something better for me. But sometimes you just have to stop and look back at what God has already done for you in the past and remember that if he did it back then, he's faithful to do it again. God removes to replace, so be it in anything valuable to you. God says starting over is not an easy task, but this is your reminder that you are strong enough to do it. Things have changed. Seasons have changed. A lot may have changed, but God hasn't and he will not. He's still faithful. Even when our situations don't look good, he's still good. You've come too far already. Don't give up now. Starting is often the hardest part, but once you take the first step, everything will follow. Everything you've been working on, praying for, and waiting for is on the other side of not giving up. Keep going. Keep enduring. Keep fighting. Don't give up now. You've come too far to give up now. You've cried too many tears to stop now. Know that the end of your strength is the beginning of God's strength. Don't skip this video if you believe in God. We might not know what tomorrow is going to look like, but rest assured, it's going to be better on the other side. Keep believing and keep walking with God. He says, be still and know that I am God. We can know him more in this painful times. Don't be afraid. He's bigger than you think and better than you know. He's more than we could ever imagine. So why would I fear the future? For your goodness and love pursue me all the days of my life. Then afterward, when my life is through, I'll return to your glorious presence to be forever with you. Don't be afraid to trust an unknown future to a known God. The same God who holds the universe is the same God who holds your future. Rest in that. Stop worrying it's already in God's hands to work everything out. If you're feeling disappointed in yourself, remember you're doing better than you think. Things might seem to be going the wrong way but trust that God is working behind the scenes. You will finish what he started. Nothing is accidental to him. Everything happens for a reason. His thoughts and ways are far beyond ours, so trust him even when you can't see or feel it. Though it's hard, know that he's with you and won't leave. God sees the bigger picture, and in his timing and way, he'll work it all out. He's got you. Always. God will bring people into your life, and you will see why it couldn't work out with others. Be faithful in your present and always have a good heart. God will honor it and multiply the seeds you've sown. If God is making you wait, abide in him. If God has closed doors that are not for you, rejoice. If God is delaying things for you, be content with him more. Type, I am ready to shine to affirm. 
One minute morning ritual to attract wealth quickly. I swear if you watch the full video you'll never lack money. Thousands of people are already making huge money using this billionaire secrets. Only you don't know this secret. Click the link in comment section before it gets removed. God is saying to you today, look back over your life and remember the times I made a way where you didn't see a way. Remember those times I put you at the right place and at the right time. Think about the times I opened doors of promotion for you, turned problems around and protected you. I am telling you today, don't focus on your problems. Focus on me, your Heavenly Father. What you think about and meditate on is what I will cause to grow in your life. What I have in store for you is bigger, better and more rewarding than anything you have ever seen in the past. I will answer your prayers. Type, yes, you needed this message. Trusting God also means trusting his process of breaking things that might destroy you later. Don't be upset when he starts to wreck your plans to show you that his plans and his ways are far better. God will break your plans before your plans break you. He loves you too much to let your plans ruin everything he's been preparing for you. He does things like that so you don't have to break yourself later and you don't have to break his heart as well. It's not his punishment, it's his redirection. As important as it is to trust his plans, it's equally important to trust his breakings too. It's for our good. He knows what's best for us. He knows what he's doing. Trust him, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. God is saying to you today, Trust me, I have you covered. I know where you are and where you are going. Those obstacles that look like they're never going to change, you better get ready. I am breaking the chains that have held you back. You're going to see blessings, new opportunities, healing and breakthroughs. You must learn to trust my timing. You can be sure that right now, I am arranging all the pieces to come together to work out my plan for your life. I've been working in your favor long before you encountered the problem. Don't grow impatient and try to force doors open. Don't try to make things happen in your own strength. The answer will come and it will be right on time. Type, Amen, and share it with three people if you affirm. Here's a gentle reminder that the same God who placed you on mountaintops is the same God who will carry you through the valley. Take heart. Breathe. Just because things feel heavy right now doesn't mean God has forgotten you he hasn't. You are always on his mind. Your situation may not look like what he promised but remember, his promises are yes and amen. You can always rely on his faithfulness. Find rest in knowing that he has you covered in all things in all seasons, and he won't fail you now. Take heart. There is more to this. Trust him, believe in what he said, walk in faith and do the last thing he told you to do. God didn't bring you this far to leave you now. He's with you. Right now. As always. So take heart. All is well. God is sharing with you today. I realize you have been second guessing yourself recently and contemplating whether you are truly sufficient or adequate to do what I put in your heart to do. This message is here to advise you that you can do everything through Christ. Don't even think about surrendering or let dread work you out of your fantasy. Keep in mind I'm with you and you will succeed. You can do this. Really look at BioConnect to mystery of drawing cash. Connect in remark area. Type yes to affirm this. I know you're lonely. It hasn't happened yet and it hurts. That's okay. It's okay to grieve what has yet to come. 
But child, you're not unlovable, that wasn't the right person. You're not unlovable, it just wasn't the right time. You're not behind. It wasn't your fault. I really felt pressed on my heart to tell someone you're about to be found. The Lord had to allow the hurt so you wouldn't keep going back. The Lord had to hide you so that the wrong one couldn't catch you. You haven't missed, you're not unlovable. There is a love for you. God has someone so right just for you. I know you've wasted a lot of time on the wrong one. I know it hurts and moving forward is scary. I know time is scary. I know your broken marriage is scary. I know this part hurts but God isn't done. God can restore your brokenness and birth a love story in a moment. But he's saying, will you let me heal you and touch that part of your life? I see someone saying, what's wrong with me? He sees you. He sees the pain. He knows you long for the love story you and him talk about. It's not out of reach. You're not too far gone. You're not too broken for him to restore, send your love, and redeem the time you lost in the valley. He is able. Hope again. Dream again. Love is coming to you. You deserve to be loved the way God intended. You deserve a safe love that you won't have to question. Everything is happening as it must. Now it's time to surrender and watch your beautiful love story bloom right before your eyes. It's time for a love from heaven. Type yes to affirm this. You've cried a lot of tears and you haven't always been treated the way you deserve. The chapter that's coming will restore all the time and pain you went through. God can do that. He's more than able. I know you're watching others receive and it hurts, but your time is coming. There's a love story for you and the Father is working it all out behind the scenes. You haven't missed your beautiful reward. I'm praying for each of you as your verse. You won't lack. Your God-sent love story is coming. You're not behind or forgotten. In the breaking, trust God even more. It's not a punishment. It's a part of his process to build you into his original design. A stronger, wiser, and more purposeful you. You can determine the intensity of your purpose based on the intensity of the breaking. The harder the breaking, the deeper the ground will get. The deeper the ground, the stronger the foundation will be. God's breaking is where he does most of his best work that results in multiple breakthroughs. Trust his process. Trust God in the process. Type, I'm open to change to affirm. What you're about to discover today is life changing. One minute you're struggling to pay bills, swamped with money worries, and the next minute, you're attracting money like steel to a magnet. What makes this life-changing difference in people's lives? It's called the genetic wealth code. Once you activate it, your life will never be the same again. You can activate your genetic wealth code here today. It's best to activate this code now. While this page is still live, Tap the link in my comments to activate your genetic wealth code. Whatever refreshes your soul, take time to recharge and recover. You'll find rest from mental confusion, stress, and weariness if you simply stop, breathe, and lean into the presence of God. Praying for all of you who need rest and healing tonight. Remember, Jesus is capable, strong, and big enough to carry every single burden you're holding. Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. When you feel weary, exhausted, or discouraged, he is ready to recharge your body, refresh your spirit, and renew your soul. Just lean in and take advantage of his healing rest tonight. God is saying to you today, Explore Reels Messages notifications, 
create profile threads? I know you have been struggling for a long time. Financially, spiritually, and emotionally. You have a good heart and people have abused you in many ways. The devil has tried to make you lose your mind many times. You have been betrayed in many ways, yet you stand in the midst of your storms. You are still here because I am with you. I will not allow any weapon that is formed against you to prosper. Fear not, I am going to turn things around and bless you in the presence of your enemies. Hold on to your faith. Type, yes, if you agree. Your miracle is closer than you think. There's about to be a shift from struggling to ease, from barely making it to abundance, from fighting that addiction to freedom, and from dealing with that sickness to health and wholeness. You are going to shift from nothing working out to things falling into place, meeting the right people, receiving the contracts, and having all the resources you need. What I promised you already has a set time. It's not going to be one second late. Trust my timing. I see the blessing of God landing on your life and it's going to change many things. Who God touches, God changes. It's time for something new in your life. I see God doing a new thing for you and those connected to you. You've had enough losses, it's time for some wins. God is saying to you today, I know you are going through a difficult time in your life right now. And you are dealing with multiple circumstances and a lot of emotional pain. It seems as though before you can get through one thing, another thing happens. I don't always still the storm around you. Sometimes I still the storm raging in you. Do not faint. I am strengthening you in areas that you cannot see right now. You and I will get through this together. Like we always do. Everything will be alright. God is saying to you today, you are coming into destiny moments. I am about to take you where you couldn't go on your own. What is coming your way is going to be unusual. What you have been praying for is going to happen sooner than you think. The dysfunction, the lack, and the sickness is over. This is a new day. There's about to be a turnaround. It's your time to reign. The forces that have held you back are being broken right now. Good breaks are about to find you and the right people are about to show up. You're going to reign over the sickness, reign over the depression, and reign over the struggle. Healing, promotions, breakthroughs, and blessings are coming your way. Be encouraged. Gifts. This one minute prayer from biblical time manifests wealth and abundance into your life. If you're a spiritual person and empath looking to better the world and yourself, then this will be the most important message you read all day. Because once you hear this divine prayer, you will finally break the curse of poverty and restore your connection with the universe, allowing you to ask, manifest and receive an abundance of blessings. Tap the link in my bio and listen to the one minute prayer now. October is going to be a big month for you. You will experience consecutive wins, healing, unexpected blessings, financial freedom and spiritual growth. I declare nothing about your life will remain the same. You will receive everything you've been waiting and praying for. In Jesus name. Amen. God is saying to you today, don't give up. I know you're under attack in your finances, your health and your relationships. That is just a sign that you are close to your breakthrough. The enemy has declared war against you and your family. But I have declared peace, victory, healing and blessings over your life. And my word is final. So get up and start your day. Be encouraged. Because the blessing you've been praying for is at your doorstep. Just open the door.
To support our channel please subscribe our channel and turn on bell notification.